Welcome to Great Gadgets and Gear. I finally get to shoot a I scored 22 video. <laughs> I got lucky and was able to get through Midway USA two boxes of Remington Golden Bullets 525 bulk packs. It took a long time to get them. Uh, with shipping, they're a little more. Uh, the, the 525 bulk packs were. Uh, 30 I think they were 30 bucks a piece and then with shipping and everything it was 79 bucks for a thousand fifty rounds um, so it's a little high but I was so excited to get it and I, I was just thrilled because it took so long and so I get it and I open up the box and the Remington boxes inside are crushed which is funny because as you can see there's nothing wrong with the shipping box so it looks like they just took what they had and threw it in the box. That was a little disappointing. Ammo spilled all over in the box and stuff. So, you know, I had to take the time, waste the time, and count them. And, of course, there was ammo missing. So I was upset about that. Uh, Midway took care of me right away, though. Hey, we'll give you some money because, you know, we screwed up. You know, ammo missing, no problem. So I'm like, great. Then I went through because I've never used Remington ammo before. I wanted to check out the bullet. And um, it was weird. I mean... For, you know, the bullet spins all the way around 360 on the casing, which probably isn't a big thing. But, man, they were so wobbly. That concerned me. <laughs> so, you know, I tried researching on the Internet, and, of course, you get the back and forth. Go ahead and shoot them. No, don't shoot them in a semi. So, no answers there. So, then I called Remington. And, uh, you know, she really didn't have a clue either. So, she talked to the tech department. They said, okay, we got a lot of complaints on our ammo. I'm like, okay, that's good for somebody new to know. And she goes, the spinning is okay. She goes, but the wobbling is not. You don't want to shoot that through a semi-automatic pistol. She goes, so what you need to do is you need to sort through your 1,050 rounds and pull out all the ones that you think are bad. Then you need to ship them to us. Then we'll review them and determine whether or not we think they're bad. Then we'll determine how you're going to be reimbursed whether we're going to give you ammo or whether we're just going to give you some money back. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I got to QC your bullets that you should have never shipped out in the first place if they were a problem. I mean, you know, they weren't just like moving just a little bit. I mean, those bullets on that casing were, were moving side to side quite a bit. So, I mean, it, that concerned me. And then when I looked at my hands after I was done sorting through some bullets, they were just black and then speckled with that gold crap. And I'm like, you know what? No way. <laughs> this is just not worth it to me. Desperate or not for ammo. So I called Midway less than three minutes. They're like, no problem. We're sending UPS to pick it up. We'll refund your money in full. Sorry for the trouble. Sorry that we can't, we don't have any in stock to sell you. So anyways, I took care of that problem. So back again to I haven't had any ammo for eight months. <laughs> can't find any ammo. I live in the Midwest. Forget about Walmart. I mean, I've been in Walmart constantly over the last eight months different days different times and i usually go really early in the morning and it's not usually for an ammo score it's to get in the grocery store before everybody and their brothers in there <laughs> so i get my groceries and go home and go back to sleep <laughs> so uh because i hate fighting the crowds but uh i've checked and checked and checked and i've had no luck whatsoever so then i started looking at youtube videos trying to see how other people do it trying to get some ideas and stuff and it seems like, you know, certain states or certain parts of the country have no problem getting 22 ammo. Walmart has all kinds of ammo. And these people doing these double dips or triple dips or whatever. And they're just, just getting thousands and thousands of rounds. And they're paying normal price. And it's just, honestly, i got to say it's pissing me off. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's like, why are we getting picked out here? So... I stumbled across a video, and I can't remember who it was by, and i got to try to figure it out because I like to thank the guy. But he had mentioned a website called wikiarms.com. see if it will focus. Probably not. There you go. And, um, I guess the, the site checks for you 
and lets you know when Walmart has ammo in stock. Because every time I've gone to Walmart's website, um, they always they don't have any. <laughs> First thing that pops up is they don't even sell it in your store, uh, which I which is funny. Um, so, anyways, I I figured all right, I'm gonna give this a shot. So I've been checking it, checking it for a few days, and of course nothing, nothing, nothing. And uh, finally this morning, man, it said it had limited stock in my store. So I mean, I just literally jumped out of bed, threw some clothes on, and threw shoes on, and just ran and beat feet over to my my local Walmart. And uh, the older gentleman who works in the sporting goods section, he's coming down the aisle at his little cart and stuff. And I know as soon as I ask this guy any time for twenty two, he's right away. He doesn't even look. He just says no, no, no. We don't have any. I know we don't have any. So today I figured, okay, I'm going to try a different tactic. i seen on some of these YouTube videos where people are printing out these little uh, barcodes with the stock numbers. I don't know how they do it, where they do it from. If you know how to do it, please drop me a comment because in the Midwest I'm not finding out how to do that. But I was able to get the stock number off the site. So I said, can you run a stock number for me? So he runs it and... You know, as soon as it pops up 22, he goes, oh, 22 long rifle. No. And I go, listen. <laughs> I said, wait a minute. I said, no way. I said, I checked your site last night. You had no ammo. I checked this morning. It says you have ammunition in stock. And I think he knew where I was going with this because I was getting pretty upset about it because I've been trying for so long. Then all of a sudden, he changes his tune. He says, oh, well, we have four in stock. He goes, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it or not because it's in a locked case and bag. So I have to find a manager and see if he's willing to open up the case. He's like, you stay right here. And I'm just like, ooh, okay, the Gestapo. <laughs> and I don't understand why they're like that at Walmart, why they're so rude about it. It's like after all your employees have hoarded up on the stock that they need for themselves, you know, can't you sell some to the rest of us <laughs> and not be so rude about it? I mean, you have a three box limit anyways. What's the big deal? So anyways, I'm standing and waiting and figuring he's going to come back and tell me no. And actually, the guy came back with a cart, you know, barely full of ammo, but a cart. And I'm like, awesome, man. I couldn't believe it. So as he's going through, he says, so what did you want? I said, the Winchester. And so what he gives me <laughs> is this. <laughs> This is an awesome score, man. I am so excited. The I've never tried Winchester, but the M22 1,000 round packs, man. I couldn't believe it. I just scored 3,000 rounds. I am so excited. Uh, and for normal price, check that out. Five cents a round, man. When can you get this stuff for five cents a round? I just hope I've never shot this. I hope this ammo is good. Uh because I'll tell you, after the debacle with the the Remington stuff, I'm I'm probably never gonna purchase Remington ammo, at least not Golden Bullets. So, yay! So, anyways, he's got all these, you know, he's got all these boxes, and he's like, so, so what do you want? And I go, you know, I had already told him, and he goes, well, how many do you want? And I looked over, and he's looking at me. I go, hey, I want the maximum. I'll take the three boxes. And uh, so then he changes this to him. Then he's all Mr. Nice Guy and he wants to talk and converse. And, you know, now we're buddies. And it just cracks me up because every time I've gone in there, they're so rude as soon as you say 22. I went in three days prior and this young kid was working back there. And as soon as I mentioned 22, he just starts laughing. He's like, yeah, right. He's like, no, we don't have any 22. You know, they never even check. They just automatically, I think they're just trained to tell you no. And then this kid decides to lecture me on guns and ammo and I need to go buy a different gun and a different caliber and I'm looking at this kid and they said listen I came in here for ammunition that's all I came in here for I don't I don't need advice on buying guns or changing over to this or that just check see if you've got the 22 or not I go other than that I'm not interested in anything else that you want to tell me you know and I'm trying to be be nice and be cool because you know they just don't know um but I finally get to do a video on my ammo score, <laughs> and I'm thrilled. I can't wait to go to the range and try out this ammunition. Um, actually, let's take a look at it real quick because I've never, I've never shot this stuff. Let's see. Hopefully, they don't have the same construction as the Remington. Because I noticed, like CCI and stuff, man, they're they're 
bullets or ammunitions put together really well. I haven't had any problems with spinning or wobbly bullets. Uh, so let's see what this looks like. Oh, check it out. You know, this looks just like CCI standard. What does it say on the bottom here? Super. It says super. So they must be super bullets. Uh, they're a little dirty. They wobble a little bit. They don't spin though. Cool. Works for me. I can't wait to go try these out. So, Mr. Unknown Person, or Mrs. Unknown Person, uh, whoever out there knows about that that site, who shared it, uh, I just want to thank you. Because <laughs> I am totally stoked, man. I am still, I'm so pumped up, man. I'm still shaking about finally getting a score after so long. So, let me know... Uh, how do you score ammo? You know, kind of when you when you do your ammo scores. You know, I live in the Midwest, so there you go. I mean, Midwest, we seem to have tons of problems getting this kind of ammunition. It seems like other parts of the country, other states, they have absolutely no problem. They walk in Walmart, they make a double, triple dip, you know, and score thousands of rounds or whatever. And you know, it's just you know another day for them. <laughs> We're up here in the Midwest, man. We're like climbing over each other trying to get to the ammunition before it's all gone. Uh, and that's when you can find it. So if you got any tips or secrets, uh, suggestions on how to score 22 ammo, please drop me a comment. I'd be really interested to know. Um, also, if you have any suggestions, like I said, I'm kind of new to this. I've shot some CCI. I've shot, you know, the mini mags, what I can get a hold of. The mini mags are the standard. Um, I accidentally bought quiet subsonic rounds, <laughs> which I didn't find out till later is for rifles, not for semi-automatic pistols so lesson learned there and uh some blazer um which is a little dirty but you know not not nearly as dirty as the remington but if you guys have any suggestions on some good ammunition uh drop me a comment and let me know i'd really appreciate it and thanks for watching great gadgets and gear and thanks for checking out my ammo score yay <laughs> five cents around you can't beat that <laughs> take care i'm going back to sleep